Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark where I got something special for you guys today. So we had a new mod drop called Ozzy's Additions. And now Yeah, we got a di a Diamantin Asaurus. A Diamantosaurus. <laughs> a Diamantosaurus. I think that's what it is. It's a massive sauropod. Alright. Now I've already grabbed me my uh, kibble that I need here for it. Um, I'm currently trying to find all my harpoons, though. I had a bunch of them, and I've lost them. Now, there's one place I haven't checked yet, and that's this rhino, Nanthia. And, yep, yeah, no, he, he has all the stuff I've been missing. There's my spyglass, too. Jeez. That magnifying glass can go die in a hole. <laughs> it, it, it sucks. Um, and then, oh, I need, I need to do something with those Giga Raptors. I got some leftover ones after yesterday. And speaking of yesterday, I got some stuff to show you here. So before I show you my personal new Rhino Nanthia that we are going to be using, I'm going to show you quickly the Rhino Nanthias. So these are how they turned out. These are their base stats. All right. Now, uh, where is... Yeah, we'll just show them now, then I'll show you their stats. So this is mine. I've already taken them out and fully maxed out his levels. I don't know how much I love the red on them, but <laughs> I mean, it earned this guy the name of Larry the Lobster. All right. But we just named him Larry, but his full name is Larry the Lobster. All right. Th this thing is basically a flying lobster. All right. We all understand that. But yeah, this is... <laughs> This is how they turned out. We did definitely get some of the colors off the Giga Raptor, like the white and definitely one of the reds. We did also get a blue out of the, one of the parents, and I think we did get one of the other reds. I, I in total, burnt through two additional 150 females. And yeah, and before we got these. So, in terms of actually getting stats from the Giga Raptors over... I don't know what the hell was going on. It seemed like it just randomly picked stats, as you can tell. I don't know what was going on here. But their base, like, base actual health is 51 points into health. Stamina has 42. And then the only other important one, which is melee, has 45. And then you can see there on the far right, like, the number there, like, you see the numbers there on the side where it's, like, in the brackets. The one on the far right... Uh, that's the points like from leveling up those are that's how I've distributed the leveled up points So yeah, we got this guy all leveled up And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab Statman. also. Yes, I got bored and named uh, the Siva or Siva I, You know, let's call it. C no, no because I hate destiny and I will never speak of anything from that game again even though the uh, what was it? shit I can't, I can't remember what my favorite DLC from the original Destiny game is called. God damn. That's how pissed I've been at the game recently. <laughs> uh, it was the Iron Lords one. It's like the second expansion after uh, King's Fall. Not King's Fall. Uh, damn it. Taken King. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's just go tame this dinosaur. Okay, so the only reason I brought Statman along is because this is going to be very easy. As you can see, these guys sleep. Now, I hate... This mod only came out about an hour and a half ago, so I had to load it up in a super flat world. And from what I can tell, I did try and test their breeding, and I've done a whole lot with them. Um, also, if you can't tell, I'm kind of giddy because this guy's actually a very lucky one. Here, I'll show you here. Uh, he is, okay, let me, I have to explain some stuff first about the mod before I explain why I am so excited about this certain 150. I haven't even checked his stats here yet, um, but he is technically the largest ones that I've been able to see spawn in. So, you know, like how the fish have a scaling of like 0 0.7 to like 2.0 or 3.0. Um, these guys have that same scaling factor. But from what I can tell, it only goes from 0 0.9 to z or yeah, 0 0.9 to 1.1. So there's only like three different sizes you can get in this guy. So it's like the small, medium, and a large. And this guy, well, see that 1.1? He's a large, and 
Ew, his stats. Ooh, maybe. You know what? That ho that melee might roll good. The melee might roll good. All right. As I understand this as well, this is quite easy. Um, please, I I don't know if you aggressy. How do I? Eh. It's a passive. It's a passive tame. But like, oh, it, it it like has a butt face. That's that's what I kind of find funny. It has a butt face. Now I need to find this. Oh, there we go. Exceptional kibble. So this should be about three feeds. Ooh, why did you have to make noise? That actually scared me. I thought something was behind me when you did that, man. This this is also a very easy tame. Um, I am running a two times taming with single player settings turned on. So this thing at a 150 should be three feeds with its kibble that it likes. And I'm pretty sure that it eats vegetable. I didn't do much testing. I only tested the kibbles really. Uh, I went from basic all the way up and it was getting like three percent from everything except this. Oh, there we go. Another one. You and it once fed quite often, which is quite weird. But I'm pretty sure we we're gonna get this thing tamed up pretty quick. That's why I think for the rest of this episode, I'm gonna show off what it can do to you guys. Boom, here we go. Nice. Alright, let's uh wake up, man. Wake up. So now I want you guys to understand this mod. The only reason I really downloaded it, because some of the creature mods that come out, like, I don't really like. <laughs> I, I am very picky, alright? I'm very picky with my mods, especially my creature mods. One of the main reasons this thing got, like, immediately accepted with it being a brand new mod I've heard no news about and all that is because up from the depths, I'm in his server, he posted it, like, giving it a shout out. And when I was looking at it, I noticed that Garuga, the guy from Arc Editions, helped in making this mod. I don't know in how. They just credited him as in as helping. Uh, the description for the mod is very bland, like very barren. I wish it would give you more info, like, yo, you need this kibble, or even if I maybe he has a Discord and I haven't been able to find it, but. Uh, legit and learning how their sizes and uh what they eat was mostly what i was able to do in uh the last well when i was in my super flat world testing it also if you can't tell i'm kind of tired it's 11 o'clock at night i've been recording videos all day this is episode five i was planning on doing a broodmother run through but my therizinos are still healing up and i don't want to wait inglés is failing <laughs> Uh, I don't want to waste my boxes of chocolates on healing them up. I I used a lot of them, especially when I was uh, when I get ugh, I can't talk. <clears throat> especially when I got all the health into uh, Larry here. Okay, we're home. We can uh, go get this thing a saddle now. Larry, you stay there. Um, what do you what do we? gonna do with this guy what do we want to name him i've been i've been in the kick of actually starting to like try and let you guys start naming more of these guys like this is especially one that i might let you guys name just because it's a new mod you know i i let you guys name kevin all right kevin was a name i you guys gave me this guy though oh we need to think of we need to think of something but we got him i need to make a saddle it's in the smithy why is everything so goddamn loud you can tell I'm I'm at my limit today. <laughs> okay, I'm running into a problem. Again, brand new mod, fresh off the goddamn uh, press. All right, this thing this thing is still piping hot. All right, and that is how this is this is how, like it's been out for an hour. <laughs> all right, listen, I did like 30 minutes of testing, loaded up arc, noticed that this guy had spawned. You know what I haven't even done since I tamed him? Listen, we got 31 points in the melee. I haven't checked what his stats have come out as. But the main reason I tamed him is mostly so I can get it showed off to you guys here in my series. And because he's the absolute largest that they come in. He is a 1.1. This is like as big as they get. What have you rolled with? You know what? 
for you having bad <laughs> health to begin with, and like me actually thinking your melee was gonna be what came out, I'm I'm a, I'm just glad you got some good health. I mean, I don't mind. We could definitely probably get a better one. Uh, I mean, eh, you know what? It's worthy. It's worthy. I keep. I keep. Me keepy. Me keepy. Now, to the problem that I have run into since how this mod is brand new. Um, it says that the saddles are crafted in the smithy. Yeah, uh, I'm running into a problem. Uh... I can't craft the saddle. So... What's going on? What are you guys shooting? Are we declaring war on fish? Yep, they're declaring war on the fish. I haven't checked that thing's uh, fertilizer here in a long minute. But again, I don't know what to do about that. Because this is a brand new mod. And... Saddles. Maybe it's... No, because it's... Dimantosaurus Dima saddle. Smithy. Okay. I'm going to make an agreement with you guys here. I am going to pick out exactly all that stuff and spawn in just the saddle. I did want to craft all this stuff to see what it was as well. But actually, I'm pretty sure from my testing... Yeah, no, it just gives me weight reduction. Uh, oh, damn, I can passively brew beer in there? Okay, so he, like, you can passively brew beer on the back of him. Doesn't ask how it makes... Don't ask how it makes the jars. Oh, so it just spawns jars, okay. But, yeah, I'm going to quickly pick out all this stuff from my smithy. Spawn my in my saddle, just because I can't craft it, all right? Bugs are going to be bugs, so we're going to work around it so that way I can show this off to you guys. But do understand, I'm hoping by the time that this video is posted, which should be next week on Friday. Next Friday, it's Wednesday right now, so nine days from now, uh, a lot of these bugs will be fixed. And yeah, so next Monday, you guys should see it working properly. But yeah, let's quickly get that saddle. Okay, so we got the saddle for him now. This is a lot more complicated than it needed to be. Alrighty, what we're going to do here... We're going to take this guy out for a spin across Carnivore Island here. Now, they are a little bit sluggish. Ooh, what was that? Hold up. They might not be exactly sluggish. Ow. It seemed like he was, like, speeding up. So, like... What are they called? You know how, like, Andrew Sarkis are? There's definitely other creatures, but they're the only ones that are popping up into my head. As you start sprinting with them, they speed up, and they get harder to turn, but they start speeding up and going faster. He's doing that. He gets harder to turn, but speeds up. All right. Ooh, so he's got a stomp. He's got, like, a Giga Stomp. Not a Giga Stomp. He's got, like, a Bracky Stomp, but not... Like, as powerful, I'm guessing. Then he's got a f front leg stomp. Does it sw Oh! Alright, so if you look backwards, you swipe your tail. That's awesome. And if you look forward, you stomp. If I look right, I stomp that side. Okay. Uh, C, do anything special? Oh, yeah, you do a call. Okay. Control. Alt. Z. X, V. Okay. They don't really do all that. So I think we've... We've hit our basics here. He's definitely... I don't know what to do with this. He's slow. That's the one thing I don't like about Sauropods. They are slow. Also, if you don't sprint... Oh, if you're sprinting, he does not like to turn. Got him. Damn. Okay. Alright, you see that swarm down there on the beach? We're gonna go get him. Speed up. I do kind of like the platform saddle as well. It's definitely... Alright. It's definitely different to all the others. If you noticed a lot, and I mean probably all, 
the saddles, platform saddles in Ark, they're all metal. Like, they're actually like a metal platform. But if you, like, it, it would, it strikes me that, like, there aren't, like, say, and I understand there are mods that have added these in the past, and that's probably, like, why Carrick's Dinos was such a good one for me back in uh, Ark Survival Evolved. There were wooden platform saddles, say, for, like, the Trike, the Mammoth. Uh, I think even the Diplo got a, a platform saddle at some point. I can't get the love bug. Is this going to get the love bug? I might have to swipe my tail at it. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting something. Stomping on it. Stomping. Come here. I'm going to stomp on this scorpion. <laughs> the shadow looks weird. It's... No, oh, you, you... Oh! <laughs> he just went flying. Alright. Now, time for the true test. I like always to do this. Now, you know what? Sauropods always suffer in the water. No, they okay. Like they're good for crossing like rivers or somewhat deep areas, but like going out into the open like this, it always kind of scares me. Ooh, hold up! This guy actually kind of floats, and then his platform saddles way up above the water. He's not that fast. He's not that fast at all, but. I wouldn't, be, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised to just see one of these guys out in the water, you know? I understand, like, what what are they? Where the Amargus... Um, Inglés is failing once more. Uh, I understand that the Amargosaurus, I believe that they were very fast swimmers in the water as well. Which, that was awesome. I mean, it's always fun when you got the sauropods able to crap... Cra yeah. I'm probably going to go to bed after this. This is probably the end of the episode. <laughs> uh, but you, it's always awesome when you have sauropods able to cross large bodies of water without them getting swarmed to death. I mean, that's always a, that's always the best part. It's always the best part about sauropods. And that's why I think I like the Amagasaurus so much. But seeing how this is our lar I can't do this. Since so this is our last ARC video of the week, I figured I may as well do this because I haven't done it for the last two. So if you guys have found yourself liking this video at any point, please do leave a like and subscribe. And as well, if you want to go above, be, above, above and beyond, we are currently running a sub goal and a members goal. So we are currently trying to reach 10,000 subs this year. Last year we had the goal set at 1,000 and we crushed it, all right? Now, the only way I really see you guys being able to help me here besides just subscribing is also sharing with your friends. So, if you guys could share my videos with your friends and see if they'd like to subscribe, that'd be awesome. And as well, for you guys that are already subscribed and do want to go above and beyond, we are running channel memberships now. Now, these aren't just, you know, give me money. I like With these channel memberships, I'm going to be using it to open up an ARC server for y'all to run. But we do have a goal of reaching 10 channel members beforehand. We're already a good start there. Just need a couple more and we'll have that server up and running. And I've already planned on having that server be the center. So yeah. Anyways, this has been Gunshy Morai signing off. Peace.